Hi everyone, it's Friday, October 16th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. Early voting is now underway across Louisiana for the November 3rd election. In Lafayette, these are the first votes with expanded early voting locations. On the south side, Lafayette Parish voters can cast their ballots at the East Regional Library. The line was out the doors, but it moved quickly. Earlier this year, the Lafayette City and Parish Councils approved an ordinance to create this location. The Councils also approved the Martin Luther King Center as an early voting site. City Councilman Pat Lewis says this has been in the works for more than a year, and he believes it's important people have easy access to early voting. It's jam-packed, and this is what it's all about. People have a right to vote, and it's showing that that's their right. Their voice needs to be heard. A lot of people fought for them to vote. A St. Martinville man is facing charges including OWI in connection with a hit and run that left a toddler with serious injuries. Joseph Broussard is accused of leaving the scene Thursday night on Sweetbriar Street. That's where a one-year-old was hit by a car. At last check, that toddler was in critical condition. Sentencing for the man who burned down three historic black churches in St. Landry Parish will now take place at the end of the month. Holden Matthews pleaded guilty earlier this year to state and federal charges in the 2019 fires. Sentencing is now set for October 30th in federal court. A new date for the state charges has not yet been set. Now to our coronavirus coverage. The Department of Health is reporting 863 new cases of COVID-19, 20 additional deaths and nine fewer hospitalizations. Acadiana reported 88 new cases and one new death in St. Landry Parish. Pfizer wants to get its COVID-19 vaccine candidate to the public by the third week of November. The pharmaceutical company plans to apply for emergency use authorization through the USDA to make that happen. This is one of four vaccine candidates currently in late stage clinical trials here in the U.S. In tonight's rebound, a good way to cope with the stress of the pandemic. Well, you can't kick up the dust in Girard Park this year for Festivals of Cajanze Creole, but you can cut a rug in your living room. The festival is going virtual amid the pandemic. Performances have been pre-recorded and will be live streamed on the festival website and Facebook page throughout the weekend. And speaking of the weekend, let's get a check of the weekend forecast with Bradley Benoit. Hey, Bradley. Hey, Jim. Forecast looking good as we head into Saturday. Plenty of sunshine expected. Those temperatures sitting comfortably into the mid and upper 70s. Winds will start out out of the east, but then turn southeasterly through the course of the afternoon at around 4 to 7 miles per hour. Next 10 days looking pretty good. A little bit warmer as we head into Sunday under partly cloudy skies. Those high temperatures returning to the lower 80s. Gradual warm up expected as we head in to next week. We'll see those high temperatures returning to the mid 80s. 20 to 30 percent on the rain chances as we head into the middle parts of the week. And the next front doesn't look to arrive until late next weekend into early next week. Now for more updates, keep it tuned to TV3 and follow us on our apps.